Hello friends and welcome back to my mess. <laughs> it's Angela and we are on day three of our December daily and for all of you in the US of A, happy Thanksgiving. And I thought we would kick it off. Uh, first of all, a warm welcome to all of you who have uh, been following me, who are playing along and who are just awesome, awesome, awesome in every single way. And for all of you who are new, if you don't know, I do a lot of art, paper crafting, junk journals, DIY projects, and of course, thrifting for thrifty treasures. So I thought what we would do before we get into our playing, because I think I did some pre-work on this one so that I could talk a little bit. Uh, but because it's Thanksgiving, I think it's uh, really important for us to talk about what we are grateful for and do a little reflection. And I have to say that uh, besides the obvious, God and Jesus, my family have been the most amazing support through all of this. And, uh, you know, I'm sure, actually, many of them probably said, God, you are crazy, but you know what? We, we support you. We love you. Uh, we know you'll be okay <laughs> and you'll do... Uh, what you need to do to uh, meet your goals and have fun with what you're doing. And if it brings you joy, just keep doing it is basically uh, what they tell me. They don't understand it sometimes, but that's okay. They are my number one supporters, my immediate family, my husband, my kids, my parents, my siblings, my besties. You know, they're wonderful. And I would say, you know, I couldn't do any of this unless I had all of you. So from the bottom of my heart, I don't say it enough, uh, but genuinely, you are amazing individuals. And to all of you who I follow and who bring me joy every day and make me giggle and laugh <laughs> and have fun and remind me that uh, we are all human and it's okay to just be us and to have fun and to play. Uh, I appreciate you. And for those of you who uh, are new and beginners, thank you because you're giving me a gift. And it is one that many of you probably don't know that I miss an incredible amount. And that is uh, educating because that's pretty much what I've done for most of my career. So thank you all for that as well. And finally, I would say I am very grateful that I have been given a gift that has allowed me to, and I don't know if that gift is God-given, if it's something that is, I need some lotion while I'm talking, uh, if it's, if it is something that is you know, taught or learned from, you know, my mom and my grandma for being so artistic and, uh, you know, for teaching me that it's okay to color outside the lines and to be different and to not worry about uh, if it's perfect or not. Art is art and you should embrace it and enjoy it. Uh, but I am very thankful uh, for whomever or you know, how ever I um, acquired the mindset and the, the skills and the ability to bring things to all of you. Because I'm telling you, it, art is my therapy. And I know many of you also agree with me. Uh, there is nothing better than coming in here when I've had a hard day and just letting go and creating something that we can do together. So, Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I love every single one of you that I've mentioned and those who I haven't, if I've forgotten you, I am sorry, but I love you too. So we're going to get started. Here's what we got. Day one, we have this little shopping bag uh, and we had this and our, our, uh, prompts were gift, jingle, and gift tag. Now remember, the rules are there are no rules. So you don't have to use all of them on one or, you know, you can just choose what you want to do. On day two. Oh, and by the way, I did, this is still a little bit wet, 
but I did add this to the page and I won't flip it over, but the number one is on the back as I flip it over. <laughs> and on day two, we created this pretty. I was putting this on right when we were ending. And then we have a tag in the middle. Oh no, I glued it. Are you coming out? Yep, you are. Oh, I stuck this in there. That's fine. Um, I didn't leave enough edge on there and it's glued together. I can fix it. But, well, first what I did is I put it over the bottom and then I was like, well, wait, now this won't come out if I do that. So I redid it and apparently I glued it still back together. It's fine. Everything's fine. And on day two for our Rolo decks, we did the cool um, using our Dispress... I say that every time. <laughs> Dispress sprays. I'm just going to say it like, you know, my kids said their words wrong. It's just going to be what it is. Uh, and we did this, I just want to bake stuff. And on day two, our prompts were star, baking, and peppermint. So we're in, in good shape. Day three. Whew. Okay, so here's our prompts. They are, where's my thing? Day three. We have joy. Okay, that's pretty simple. Joy. PJs. Who came up with these, by the way? <laughs> and holiday memory. All right, so if I would have been strategic about it, I would have thought about this, like, much harder. But no, I didn't. So we'll start with PJs. Uh... First of all, I knew somewhere in my scrapbook stash, I had pajamas. I thought they were baby pajamas on a little hanger. I never found those, but I found these, which apparently I need to do some delivery day demi stuff because I didn't. I found this. Um, it says, as well might we dance without music or attempt to write a poem without rhythm as to keep Christmas without a Christmas tree. Weekly Press, 1877. And these little kiddos were all in their jammies. So I found that. I, I found this when I was looking at the baby stuff and I thought that's cute because I found the word joy that I had printed a while ago. And I'm like, oh, sweet joy. That sounds cute. Uh, I did find this. This was from an advent calendar, I think. So we can use this. Okay, this goes with that. And then I found this vintage picture of Mama and her baby in bed in their jammies. So I was like, well, that all works together. So we're keeping all of this together to use on this page, which I don't think we'll actually use the jammies. But So when it came to <laughs> a holiday memory, the first one that popped in my head was cutting down the Christmas tree because my family and I did that. My uh, brother, sister, my mom and dad and I every year. So I had found a piece of paper. It was a six, four by six piece of paper. And I thought, well, I wanted to talk about gratefulness and all that good stuff and Thanksgiving. So I did go ahead and um, cut out all of the trees. This says tree farm. And it says cut your own. And then I did find these trees, which I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to make it on this, but they're there. And then the other thing that I thought about, about holiday memories were uh, us watching uh, movies, whether it was when I was really little and we watched like It's a Wonderful Life and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, or even as we got older and, you know, it's questionable. I don't know. You guys can all give me your votes. Uh, but, uh, oh my gosh, now I'm going to forget. Is it Roadhouse? Oh my gosh, my, my Mo, my grandma loves, uh, all of his movies. Oh, crud chunks. Is it, I, I might be getting it wrong. It might not be Roadhouse. What's the other one? Well, they fight all, all the time, and they they say it's a Christmas movie. But uh, the other one is really the one that I like, and it's Love Actually. So, I was like, you know, no matter how old you are, 
there are memories about Christmas. And now we like to watch Elf and um, I still like Polar X. My kids loved Polar Express. I'm going to start working on this while we're talking. And now the kids are like, eh, they're not into it. But I loved watching it with them. It was so much fun. What did I do? Oh, it, this fell down here. So, a uh, question for you. What was your favorite... What is your favorite holiday movie to watch? I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that I like to watch it. I'm sure there's plenty. Well, I'll just turn on the Hallmark Channel and just watch it. <laughs> Dave's like, really? Can we please watch something else? But he'll, he, he hangs in there with me. God bless him. And while I'm thinking about it, now remember, if you have reached out to me between Tuesday and now, and I have not given you a shout out, it is not because I am ignoring you. It is because I am taping these. My kids make fun of me because I say taping. Uh, I'm doing my videos <laughs> all on the same day. So this is video number three for today. And if you do reach out to me, and say that you want to participate and use the hashtag, which is December Daily, the number two, the word restore, and the letter U, then um, I will put you in the description. So know that you were not forgotten. I promise. Uh, but those of uh, those of my friends who have uh, have or are participating, I do want to give a shout out to, and that is. Today, uh, Pam Van E, because I realized that she had uh, left a comment and said, I'll participate when I can. And that's just all it all it is. Like, just use the hashtag, participate when you can. I say, you know, my, I have a few mantras and one of them is, the rules are, there are no rules. So... Pam is participating when she can. I think she's doing some other things as well. Uh, we have Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. We have Bianca at... I'm going to make sure I have it right because I say it wrong every single time. BB's Closet Creations. I don't know why that's so hard for me either. And Kelly at Root Pursuit. So, there we have it. And their links, or their, um, I'll tag them, and so you'll be able to hop right over and see all of their uh, videos, and you can subscribe to them and show them some love as well. All right, we got Mommy and Bebe. This little girl, I know, I don't think, she's my friend, I don't think she watches, but her daughter, this looks like her daughter so much. <clears throat> now, I thought it would be kind of fun, even though I think we'll use this on the Rolodex card, to use a little piece of this. Uh, this is from 2001. But I thought it would be cute just to use a smidgy of this across the bottom. Maybe we'll pull this off, too. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I, like I said, this is video number three. But I do have a funny story. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. You might not find it funny. And you. I hope I don't offend you. But I'm going to tell it anyway. So it was around 1130. And I was starving. And my tummy was um, growling after I ate, not before I ate. So I don't know what was wrong with that. But... Do you remember these blankets, by the way? They're the best. It was probably a, um, what do you call those? Electric blanket. So I was upstairs and Landon's buddy came over. He said, oh, I said, well, wow, why, why are you here? And he, I said, it's, you're supposed to be at work. And he's like, oh, I'm on break. I said, oh, cool. So he went downstairs and he was hanging out with uh, Landon. And all of a sudden he came upstairs and he said, Ange. I got a question for you. I said, okay. I thought he wanted me to like do something or <laughs> I thought it was going to require being a mom and doing something responsible. And he's like, okay, 
So my question is, would you send Landon to prison for $50 million? Now, at about the time that he finished his statement, Landon came upstairs. And I'm like, absolutely not. And Harris, his buddy, started just giggling. And I was like, what's so funny? And he's like, well, Landon said he'd send you to prison in a minute for $50 million. <laughs> and I said, okay, now, wait a minute. I said, let's talk this through. He said, Mom, it's only a year. He goes, you'll be fine in prison. He said, you'll meet a lot of friends. And he said, it will be fine. And uh, I said, <laughs> I said, well, huh. Well, this is probably, well, this is at least 16 years old. So, uh, well, we're just going to glue it on here. Um, it looks like it was already on something. And I said, okay, well. I would tell you, yes, I would have a lot of friends, uh, you know, because I just, I love people. I love to learn about people. I love to help people. I, well, and pe maybe those people wouldn't want help. I don't know. But I'm like, it would be fine. I said, as long as I had some, like, I could craft. Maybe I could teach an art class while I was in <laughs> prison. I said, then it would be fine. I could, I could get through prison. I don't mind being alone, you know, give me a book. I'll be fine. Take one for the team. And he goes, and mom, when you get out, I would give you, uh, we can go 50, 50. I said, well, dude, I'm going to tell you something. If your mom's going to prison for you for a year, it should probably be at least 60, 40. <laughs> Landon goes, ah, I think 50, 50 is fine. Oh my gosh, I have never giggled so hard. And I said, I still couldn't send you to prison for <laughs> for a year, Landon. And he's like, Mom, really? Come on. It's $50, $50 million. I'm like, I uh, know I couldn't do it. <laughs> so apparently he's he's totally all right. And he said, Well, I I was reading and uh it said once you get to, I don't know the number, 25 million or I think 25 million, that it doesn't matter if you make 10 million or how whatever, you, you'll be fine. I said, well, yeah, you'll be fine if you don't, you know, blow it all doing whatever. And I said, I'm still not sending you for pri to prison for $50 million dollars. So, so that was our conversation. It was kind of cute. So I said, Landon, that, all right. So then Dave called me when he got home from work at, or got, got done with work. And we usually talk as he's driving home. I like that. So we have memory, we have joy, we have jammies. We covered it all. Bada boom. So then Dave calls and we're visiting and having a conversation. These are not going to make the cut. Plus they're too thick, but I have an idea. So I told him the story and I'm like, I go, Dave, I would absolutely send you to prison for $50 million. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I'm like, what? You'll be fine. Like, you're a good man. You can, you know, fight your own battles. It will be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. And I said, it's $50 million. He goes, you didn't even hesitate about that. I go, no, I sure didn't. I said, but I would never send my kid to prison. <laughs> oh, I was laughing so hard. I know, isn't that... I, this is going to be a subject at uh, Thanksgiving because I think it's just hilarious. Like, what would other people, you know, what would other people say? Like, what would my um, siblings and their spouses say? What would my mom and dad say? Oh. So I'm going to have to tell Landon. Okay, I'm leaving these up because here's my thought. This is cut your own tree, which I think will go perfect right there. But then what I wanted to do, these were way too big. 
is put this here. So it kind of, no, how did I have it? I thought about it. There you go, like that. So yes, that might be a, a game we play it. <laughs> hmm. At Thanksgiving, would you send XYZ to prison for $50 million? And you know, we have a lot of teenagers. Well, all teenagers, actually. So it would be interesting to see if they, they'll send their parents to prison. <laughs> oh, goodness. Of course, leave it to Landon to be like, oh, well, I figured it out. And, you know, after you get to 50 million or 25 million or whatever he told me, I don't remember what the number was. I should probably probably paid attention. Um, it's fine. It'll be fine. You're, it doesn't matter how much you make. Okay, kid. Oh. But the the other awesome part of it was that Harris just sold him right down the river. Like, he was saying, really? Because Landon's totally sending you to prison. Mm. Kids. Kind of thinking. Yeah, that's fine. It's kind of like a game of would you rather. Have you guys played that game? It's kind of fun. So. My next question is, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? Like, what do you guys do? So when the kids were younger, only Demi. Uh, I like that. Uh, <clears throat> always wanted to go shopping. And her... We always spent Thanksgiving at... Uh, my exes, her... Their... Uh, dads in South Dakota dad's families and so it was a small town in South Dakota and Watertown South Dakota was the larger town and so my mother-in-law and myself and my sister-in-law would go every year and shop because let me tell you there was no crowd it wasn't like what it is in Iowa I don't know. I've never done Black Friday in Nebraska, so I don't know if it's good, bad, or indifferent. But it's too crazy. And it's just like any metropolitan city. Probably not so bad so, so bad as some of them like L.A. or whatever. But um, so that was something that we always did. Uh, of course, the guys love to watch football and all of that good stuff. And... Uh, Usually at our, I don't know if it's tradition or if it's just mandated by my mother, <laughs> but we usually do some kind of photo shoot and usually we do it outside and I somehow get stuck. My mom's the photographer. I mean, I, I do photography, but I'm no pro. I just understand the camera maybe a little bit more from the technology side. So I get stuck being the one that hits the button and then has to run and stand in place and try to look good. It never works, but it's fine. Whatever. If it makes my mom happy, it's it's good. And you know what? Photos are an important part of any holiday and should always be taken in my opinion. I've lost my art glitter glue. It appears that I put it back somewhere really responsible and now I can't find it, but I have a little. Oh, here it is. Yep, it was all put back where it was supposed to be. And then I think, I think. Let's see, let me look. What is tomorrow? 
tomorrow is menu cranberry and believe so i was going to talk about the menu but i won't talk about it until tomorrow i kind of like that everything just kind of blends back now i do think that we should do the outside i have to tell you i'm going to do another video after this i have no more good stories <laughs> Oh, my kids, you gotta love them. And you know, I'm gonna put this in my memory bank and I'm gonna remember this and I'm gonna say, okay, when they have children, I'm gonna ask Landon. Now Landon, would you, I cut it off. I cut off, that's fine. It looks like someone knows that it's there. <laughs> um, you can still see the, the arrow. I'm going to say, Landon, would you send your baby, who I hope is going to be named like Angela Jr. or something like that, um, to prison for $50 million? I bet he'll say no. All right, we got three down. Angel, cooking, and tree farm. Awesome. That one went really well. And only 26 minutes. So a little of my preparation, even when I was gabbing about what to be thankful for, panned out. So we will close this off in, on a happy, happy note. And a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're watching the parade or um, doing your own fun things. And I'll be back tomorrow. And tomorrow, like I said, if you're getting ready, it is Menu, Cranberries, and Believe. So stay tuned and see what we create. I hope that you all find time to just be, and especially with family uh, today. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>